second half of our program. Please find your seats. Abraham Ibn Daoud was born in Toledo in 1110 and died a martyr in 1180. Wrote his famous The Book of Tradition, in which he gives an explanation of how the centers of Jewish culture and their great teachers and scholars shifted from the Near East to North Africa and Europe. The Arab ruler, Abal al Rahman, had sent a fleet to capture Christian ships and raid towns in the Mediterranean. These ships sailed even to Greece and to Palestine. On one occasion, four great rabbinic sages on a mission to solicit funds for their academy were captured by Ibu Dahmin, the admiral in charge of the Arab vessels. The four rabbis, Hushiel, Moses, Shemariah, and one other whose name has been lost, were reduced to slavery, sold, and eventually redeemed by the Jews. Shemariah in Alexandria, and then on to Cairo, where he became head of a great school. Hushiel, on the coast of Africa, where he later established a school in Maghrib. Moses, in Cordoba, where his name and reputation spread throughout Spain. Among his students was one Yosef ibn Abitul, who explained the Talmud in Arabic to the Muslim king Al-Hakim. These things happened in the days of Shirira Gabon, about the year 989 of the Common Era. We now join our Spanish ancestors at the end.
have converted to Christianity and who are suspected of observing the Sabbath and pressure. It is a grievous time for me. When I see the black cows of the Dominicans, I shudder and turn away. Desert induced thirst, 
on wine to revive the sagging spirits and the composing of new verse. Brother, drink and pour me some too. I will give to the cup of my pain.
questions like that, you should indeed dye your hair. I, however, like Halevi, have vanished old age in an instant. One day I saw a single gray hair.
so, interested in the bride, not the dowry. I know this from experience. It happened to me in my family. Last year, my sister's child, Rahel, became engaged to Yosef Ben Meir Ibn Zabar, a friend of Al Harisi. She has already established a fine medical practice in Barcelona, as did his father before him, and he is also becoming a well known writer. Interested only in her, not in the dowry. My mother says that Joseph's book, The Fair Hashashwi, is not only funny, but informative. It quotes both Talmuds, Greek, Arabic, and even Indian sources. It discourses on medicine. Well, from a physician that you would expect. Hygiene. Also to be expected. Natural science, psychology, physiognomy. In other words, it was a great match. I agree, I agree, she's a lucky girl. The scarf ceremony between Rahel and Yosef signifies the families have made an engagement agreement. We call the party Tamar Kinyan. After the ceremony, I told the servants to pass la table de dulce, a tray of candy fruit sweets to all the guests. Jellied orange peel and rose petal jam, kumquat preserves. Jelly pears. Apricot candy and quinces. <laughs> Be 
have. The bride has no money. But may they have good fortune. The bride has no riches. But may they have good luck.
may succumb to endless night. But understanding the cycle, that life is in inevitably followed by death's shadow, leads elder couples to prepare their burial shrouds, the takrihim. As was our custom, a corta mortaza is begun, preparing shrouds in the twilight of life. Women friends cut, sew, and present burial clothes to husband and wife. We understood life and death to be a unification, a beginning continuing to a conclusion. Last week, at the funeral of a Morano from Sevilla, each of the dead man's four sons bowed low to kiss his dead parent's hand, and the rabbi placed that hand on each child's head, and as he did, he declaimed a threefold benediction, which the dead father no longer could do. Yeah. Jews from Spain 
forever. of Jerusalem that our poets have kept alive in our hearts. <laughs> 